Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Remind me how long Asari normally live? Centuries. Some of us reach 1,000. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Perhaps we can talk later. At your service. I heard what happened. Sounds like Lieutenant Tarquin never hesitated. He didn't. Well, whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. Sacrifice among my people is expected, but saying that, he did us proud. Yes, you there? I'm here, Rex. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you, honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rick's out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing, now. But ingenious, back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. Maybe later. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Nice talking with you, Warden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Turian. You are cunning. Uh-huh. Then by addition, you mean slave race. Subservient race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. Nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes? 
breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed, and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. Commander. All right, and we're back, so I apologize for you know, earlier with that kind of random cut. Anyway, I, one other thing I wanted to mention from, like, many, many videos ago that, and again, I didn't notice this until I started playing it, from, you know, without recording, that whenever a little green light shows up, that means there's a new uh, video, or a new message, I should say. Excuse me. In any case, uh, I'm going to leave Tachanka here for a second. We will check out that service presence later. kind of want to switch gears a little bit when we actually go do this over here. I do not understand why they had to make that thing so damn loud. But in any case, let us go ahead and check out these Cerberus abductions. And I think I will probably call it for the evening. Let's do this real quick. Signal Nothing. confirmed. Ah, oh, there is something. Probably just fuel. Yep, it was. I'll take it. Feels good. Alright, so let's go to Benning. Now, I also know that there's, uh, I think that's where that one senator's lost uh, son was. Or last heard, I should say. So maybe we can get some information on that. Well, we should, because we won't be coming back here again. Alright, so to bring for the crew, eh, my usuals. Liar and Edie seem to be good all-around characters for just about every situation, in all honesty. A couple of times you could probably use some of the other guys, but like I, I, I never use James, or I don't use any of the other people. Okay, what do we have here? Do I have a, that stabilizer thing yet? I do not. All right, then whatever. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, whatever. We're we're good. All right, two points, can't do anything, zeros. Oh, no one had a level up. Well, almost had a level up, but whatever. Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigation suggests that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate, and the server squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The both are concentrated on the upper street. Cerberus forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. On my way. Well, doesn't this level look a bit familiar? Oh my goodness. Very nice. Anyway, so now let us go ahead. Switch to this. People are getting gunned down already, that's not good. Can I save the day? And... Hello! What's going on, everybody? What's going on, every peoples? Just introducing myself, don't mind me. Oh, sorry. Boom. Yeah, I don't think... I, I don't think you can save those. Because there were a couple... Oh, look at you, guy! Not letting you jump on my head. You! Fuck off. Jerk, here. Have some of that. Have some of that in your bum. You! That and that. You're dead. Excellent. Mad excellent. Mad excellent. Oh, there's... Damn, Edie, come on. You can take care of him. Why do I have to... I don't have to take her. What the hell? These people are still out in the boot. Anyone else? Hmm. Man, there's still more, you assholes. Surprise! Idiot. Alright. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. We must I got just got gunned down. 
Anyway, when I first did this, this what took forever was this right here. Need to pick up that dog tag. That's for later. So now, let me see here if we can take care of... See, like, I don't know, like, someone just died, but obviously you see there's no fire there. I don't know. Kind of weird. 